and say, we are on the morning call. Hop on. And I'm going to give it like two minutes. I'm going to get, and I think that if we don't get at least 15, I should, I should just hold this message. I can't, because I see that, you know, uh, Sir Clinton Daly is on, um, Sir Christopher Lyon, and the three others that are on, Jerome, Joy, Petra, we appreciate you being here. And I mean, but I just feel like we need like 15 people on here for me to give this message. So, um, don't be a part of the problem. Be a part of the solution. Being a part of the problem means you're going to get off and not be on here because you're like, well, I'm going to leave now. No, be a part of the solution and go and share the morning call into the group. And it's going to be probably like 10 minutes of straight power, just 10 minutes of straight power. So I, I need y'all to be like with me. I need y'all to be with me. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to turn my camera on because I put notes in my phone that I don't want to miss. So I'm going to keep the camera because I'm in the car. So I'm going to keep the camera off simply because I want to be able to check out the notes in my phone as I'm sharing it. I'm also going to record this, but I'm only, I'm only going to do this if we can get 15 people in here. For real. I'm only going to say this message. If, if we don't get 15 people in here, I'm going to play a video. So we need, I need y'all to go and message your business partners. I'm going to do the same thing. Let me go tag a couple of people. I just went and said some people inside of the group chat that I am primarily in. If you're just hopping on here, I'm, I'm asking that you go and get, go grab somebody, go post the link inside your groups so that we can get 15 people on here. I'm going to give it two more minutes and see. If we don't get 15 people on here, I'm going to save my notes in my note section for Monday because... Uh, y'all, we, we should be, you know, we are business owners. We are independent business owners. We are people who, you know, like, first of all, we need to learn. I just went and um, drove past the school, and I love the sign that was outside. It said, students who miss less than nine days of um, school, students who miss less than nine days of school in a school year actually get uh, better honors ac academically. And that, like, is so relevant even to this. People who show up get better results, have the mindset that's necessary, have the work ethic that's necessary, have the belief level that's necessary. When you show up, we're doing these calls so that we can build on mindset, work ethic, belief level. And so, um, you know, just I encourage you to go into the groups so that way you can get, we need five more people. I don't know, do y'all want me to just wait for the five or play the video? Wait for the five more people or play the video? Y'all tell me in the chat. Type it in the chat. We all leaders. Every single body on here is a leader. Type it in the chat. Wait for five or play, because I'm going to I'm gonna speak and share this powerful message that I have inside of me if we can get five more people. But if we cannot get five more people, I'm going to play a video. And just save this message for Monday. Okay? So y'all let me know in the chat. Y'all can y'all can get it started right now with a video. If y'all want me to start with a video and just like stop talking. <laughs> we still need three more people. I'm hold I'm you know what? One thing that um came to me this morning that hit me like a brick of rocks. I mean what not a ton of bricks <laughs> is say what you mean, mean what you say, do what you're gonna do what you say you're going to do. And with that being said, I cannot default on my word by giving this message unless there's 15 people on this call. 
if there's not 15 people on this call, I'm going to have to save this message for Monday. And so I, I really feel like this message could, you know, be something that could be transformative for you right now. But we need two more people to get on this call because I am going to practice intentionally, strategically being a person who do what I say I'm going to do. And this morning I said, I'm not doing this message unless there are 15 people on this call. So I am waiting for two more people. Like I said, the whole purpose of this call is to give you, you know, the, the motivation you need to be strategic, the, motive, the, the belief level you need to be consistent and to see the vision for yourself, the skill you need to get results the mindset you need to become the type of person who can get results. So, I done did the whole call about why you should be on the call. And I, you know what, while we're waiting for two more people, everybody please grab a pen and a paper. Whenever you get on Zoom, you should have a pen and a paper. Let me tell you why. Number one, you are not gonna remember everything that's being said. And some things, you know, it's like when you watch a good movie, by the time you get to the end of the movie, you can pretty much tell people what the movie was about. But you may forget things like how they got there or why they got there or what happened in between. So that is like why you should take notes while you listen to these calls, because regardless if it's me, if it's Chris, if it's um, Sir Clinton Daily talking, you are going to get a message. Um, in that and you don't want to just listen and be like oh that was good and then you get off and you don't apply it you don't remember it you don't even think of it because it was good in that moment just like something in the movie that made you go oh and then you forgot you, you you tell us somebody about the movie but you forgot that part because you don't remember it and so that's what happens on these calls you know you're like oh that's that's nice oh that's good oh i like that idea but you're just listening like you're watching a TV sitcom or something. And so you should have a pen and a piece of paper. Now, how do you take notes? I'm going to talk about that. I didn't get into the message that I really wanted to talk about because there are not 15 people in here. So if I get to the end of me talking about why you should take notes and there are not 15 people in here, I'm going to tell you, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you being here. And I encourage you to make sure that every day that you get on these calls, you go and post it in the group chat. Hey, I'm up. I'm getting on. Because doing that inspires other people to get on. Now, oh, we have 15. Great. So let me just conclude with how to take notes. Everybody should have a pen and a piece of paper. When you have the pen and piece of paper in the chat, um, and in the chat, oh, hey, Simone. Hey, Yvonne. When you have the pen and piece of paper in the chat, type the number seven, please. Everybody should have a pen and piece of paper. Let's start there. And why you should take notes, I already went over that because you cannot remember everything that's being said. Now, how you take notes. If you hear something that stands out to you like, oh, wow, that is a good quote, you write it down. If you hear something that, that stands out to you that you say, I can use that in my business, you write it down. Even if it's word for word. I don't mind sounding like somebody else when I post on Facebook until it becomes who I am. The only reason why a quote like, reach for the moon, if you fall short, you'll land amongst the stars, is in my head because I wrote it down. I didn't make that up. Les Brown shared that. I wrote it down, and then I said it enough times, I posted it enough times, that when I'm doing a call like this, it can come out of me as if I just made it up. So that's why you want to write down anything that stands out to you, everything. Do y'all know every success principle was um, initiated from the Bible? So there's nothing about success that's being taught. It's just been reworded. Everything about success, about success in money, success in business, and success in relationships with your children, with your spouse, everything was all from the Bible first. And people who say that they are gurus and influencers and coaches took those principles and reworded them. And so when you write down something that stands out to you, you can own it, reword it, own it, live by it. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I only see three sevens. 
do at least 10 people have a pen and paper? Utilize the chat, y'all. Come on, give me some feedback. Let me know. Do you have pen and paper? This is important. I want more people to succeed. I'm tired of us just a accomplishing the bare minimum, okay? I want to make sure you know how to learn, how to show up, how to perform, how to become your best, how to show the world that you are living in a life that you can be proud of. So that's why I'm so passionate today. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I want to record this. I'm going to record this call. All right, for anyone. This meeting is being recorded. For anyone who is hearing me for the first time, this is Aisha Queen Jade affiliate with Vita Davina. And my message today, I, I on Monday, I actually spoke about um, how success loves speed. And so and to feed on to that, I want to talk about how when you do what is hard, right, how life will be easier. But when you do what is easy, life will be hard. So what is easy? Let's talk about that part. The easy thing to do is to say, oh, I didn't make 20 calls today. I only did three, but I'm tired. Or I only did five. I'm tired. I only did 10. I'm tired. Or I'm overwhelmed. I'll just finish tomorrow. Doing what is hard says, I said I was going to make 20 calls, so I'm going to make the 20 calls. So let's talk about this, right? A lot of people are in the space of needing to sell more products so that they can recruit more business partners. Have you ever thought of contacting businesses? And like, if you look into it on Google, you can look up stuff like nail salons, barbershops, pharmacies, um, uh, uh, photographers, anybody who you think have a good client base, entrepreneurs, self-employed positions, flea markets, shopping plazas. This is hard, right? But everybody on this call can do it. But most people won't because it's hard. <laughs> but listen to this. Let's, let's, let's look at the compounding effect of doing what is hard. When you do what is hard, life will be easy. When you set the goal, okay, I'm going to contact 10 businesses today. I'm going to contact 20 businesses today. And you commit to it, it makes you see yourself on a higher level. It makes you feel more confident about who you are and how you're going to perform in the world and how you're going to perform towards achieving your goals. You have to be in the mindset of making the calls no matter how you feel, making the connections no matter how you feel. The difference between someone who operates based on how they feel and someone who does it despite how they feel is the result they get constantly and consistently. Your mind must be stronger than your feelings. Let me tell you something. Feelings, feelings made me lose out on probably a millions of dollars. And let me tell you why. And nobody really knows this, but I'm going to share it. I was supposed to sign up directly with Albert Jackie in the beginning of the, when Vita Davina launched. When we were in pre-launch and a soft launch, I was one of the first people to know about Vita Davina. And he, he came to me and he talked to me about it, but he and I were not seeing eye to eye. I, I think that it was just me needing to do more personal development to understand where he was coming from. And the more I've grown, the more I see my era in that season of not even understanding where he was coming from. Anyway, with that being said, I wanted to get away from him. I said, I don't want to work with you no more. I don't want you to be my mentor. Like, leave me alone. I'm signing up with somebody else. Now, I still ended up, silly me, in his organization, right? I just ended up in a poor position because the position I ended up in was with somebody who ended up leaving the company and not actually giving me the leverage that he promised. Had I started with Albert Jacke, I would have probably billions of volume on one side and I would have been able to only focus on the other side. So I would literally likely be double diamond or higher right now had I started with Albert. Look at how my feelings costed me millions of dollars. 
So what are your feelings costing you when you say, I don't feel like making phone calls? I don't feel like going outside to find people to sell product to. I don't feel like setting up a table today. I don't feel like going live. I don't feel like getting on a call. What are your feelings costing you every single day? I want you to write down what you could accomplish if you actually did these activities. Like if you made 10 phone calls to 10 businesses and five of them said yes, you can show your products to my clientele. So imagine if you call them and you simply ask them, hey, if I can prove to you that my products do what they're supposed to do, will you allow me to be able to introduce this to your client base? What if you said that? And what if they said yes? That could mean an extra $1,000 a day for your business. So you you look at a month of 30 days, you're missing out on thousands of dollars because you don't feel like making the phone calls. But yes, look at the compounding effect. Let's talk about that again. When you look at the compounding effect of doing what you say you're going to do, when you look at the compound of effect of doing what is hard, you do what is hard, right? You make the phone calls. When you make the phone calls, you get better at your dialogue, at your presentation, at your conversation, at your closing. You get better. The better you get, the more results you get. The more results you get, the more money you make. The more money you make, the more um, influence and credibility you have. The more influence and credibility you have, the less you have to make the phone calls and you get to market and recruit and sell from your influence and credibility. You see the content? I hope y'all wrote that down. I hope y'all wrote it down just like I said it. Look at that, the compounding effect of doing what is hard to make life easier, okay? And so in this last couple of seconds, I want you to just close your eyes right now. Focus. Focus on making yourself feel excited you feel powerful. You are imagining yourself crushing, accomplishing, excelling your goals with ease. Imagine it. What is that day like for you? What is that month like for you? What, are, what is the car you're going to buy for yourself for your birthday? cash up front, no credit. The house you're going to buy in six months to a year, cash, no credit. The things you're going to do with your children, the places you can take them, cash, no credit. What does that feel like for you? What if you could do this and create that feeling for yourself every morning, at least once a day or twice a day? in the morning and at night. Let's open your eyes now. It's the compounding effect of doing what is hard so that life can be easier. Success loves speed. Y'all go ahead and have an amazing day. Matter of fact, I'm going to start the recording. And... I'm gonna, the recording has I'm stopped. Gonna ask if anybody want to unmute. Thank you for the collaborative efforts of getting 15 or more people onto the call today. I really love and appreciate y'all. Anybody want to unmute and tell me one thing you got from the calls today or one thing that stood out to you or something that impacted how you're going to operate moving forward? Anybody want to unmute? Just raise your hand. Thank you, Traponi. Traponi, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to unmute. Oh, who, who raised their hand? Carlene. Okay, I'll go with Carlene first. There you go. Uh, good morning, my fellow affiliates. Um, what I took away from this morning, that in, in whatever you do, you um, for life, 
to be easy, you have to do the things that is hard. And no matter the circumstances, the better you get at what you're doing, the more results you um, receive. And you should use your mind in what you're doing and not your feelings. Thank you. Yes, yes, you're welcome. Yes. Oh, I, I think, okay, Myrtle. Go ahead, Miss Myrtle. I've asked you to unmute. Okay. Uh, I've asked you to unmute. Well, y'all go ahead. Have me. Oh, Petra. Okay. Ask you to unmute. Oh, Myrtle, you there? Yes. Sorry, I didn't realize that I didn't unmute. Sorry about that. No problem. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good and morning. Training, this training was, yes, this training was very powerful and motivating as always. Thank you so very much. And uh, my main takeaway this morning was that it was similar to what you just said. Focus on what is hard. When we keep doing what is hard, it, bec it gradually becomes easier for us. And when we do what is hard, then it will make life much, much easier. So, so that was my main takeaway, and that we should do the things that we should focus on the things that will make life easier, and it and what we find hard to do will become easier for us to do, and it will give us more confidence, confidence as well, to do it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it was my. Thank you, thank you. It will help us more to believe in ourselves to know that we can do it. And others also will believe in us more. Yes. Yep. So our team will, will grow gradually. Yep. Exactly. Because yes. you build your credibility with the results you get and your stability. The fact that you said you were going to do this and you did it and that's how you build like me and Kieran were talking the other day, and he was like, I, I had posted that question about the whole, um, would you take $250 in food stamps or a dinner with Beyonce? And so he said, well, Beyonce probably wouldn't want to invest in no business idea you bring because she, people like her will normally invest in people who have already done business and have had successful businesses. So look at that. How many people who are successful in their life already, maybe they got good jobs, they at the pinnacle of income for your economy or your area or whatever, they're making six figures or whatever the case may be, and here you are talking about you want to, um, you know, be a part of this network marketing business, and to them it's a joke until you start making six figures or even more than them, and then they say, hey, show me what you did. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Clinton. I'm going to ask you to unmute. Hello, good morning, Aisha. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> um, they, they say, we you spoke about um, your mind must be stronger than your feeling resonated with me much because... I realize that any day that I am in a good feeling, I tend to do much more in the business. I contact more persons. I probably close more sale. It's like that particular day is is like my better days. And mm -hmm. I realize that the days that I'm not feeling too well to do it are the days that I basically don't achieve anything. So if we can build up that habit of controlling our mind and having it not being dominant over our feelings, we can really achieve much more, you know, because if we make those calls, no matter what, if we, if we try to do those closes, if we try to get information to people, rather than regarding, regardless of how you feel, then certainly the business for you can can really go heaps and bones, you know. So that really resonated with me. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank <laughs> yes, you, absolutely. 
Yep, and um, I mean, for a long time, and even now, that's something that, you know, hit smack me in the face, too. Doing, like, controlling my mind to the point of doing the work no matter what. And I, uh, it's something I knew subconsciously that had to be done, and that's why I don't like for anything to affect my mood. So when problems come to me, it's just like, okay, well, what's the solution? I can't even, like, I, I can't even give it the emotion because I know the emotion is going to destroy my level of, work if yes. I give it the emotion behind it so it's like okay fine so God forbid this happens but let's say I'm driving and someone hits my car that's not gonna ruin my day you just hit my car I'm I'm upset but right. in the moment it's just like man why you do that and then I'm gonna move on what's your insurance information here's mine let's do what we got to do let's get the paperwork going boom I'm over it. I'm done. The emotion, as soon as I pull off, that emotion is gone. My day is not ruined. I'm going to keep going. Let's say, you know, um, something breaks or whatever. I don't know. What could, maybe you get a bill or you get an eviction notice or something. If you get into the feeling behind the eviction notice or that overdue bill, then you're not going to make the money to pay the eviction notice or the overdue bill. But if you control your mind and do the work, do the activities, the IPAs, the phone calls, set up some meat, and focus on selling $1,000 worth of product every single week, then you're going to make the money to pay that eviction notice or that bill. So, yeah. Yep, you can solve every single problem. Unless it's, God forbid, a death. You're going to solve every single problem if you make more money. And, and even then, God forbid, I said it's, God forbid it's a death. But even then, I believe that I choose to look at it as what are the gut points about the, the situation, like the experiences we've had, the memories I can cherish, and how can I create? How, if, if someone close to me passes away, God forbid, I'm going to look at my life and say, how can I create my future so that I, did not, uh, I, I, did, I do not waste my time here? I do not waste what they knew of me. They know of me to be a pusher, somebody who is a leader, somebody who is going places. I don't want that to to diminish what they last knew of me. So let me become more of that, and they will want me to stay focused. Let me stay focused so I can help maybe their children, so I can help maybe, you know, people connected to them in the future with what I become. So that's how you got to look at it. There's always some way to look at how you can overcome mentally what has happened physically if if you just create that shift in your mind to choose to do so. All right, y'all. We've been on the call long enough, I believe, and I think we said a lot, and I hope y'all took a lot of notes. Um, yeah, have an amazing day. This call is officially over. Thank you all for your input, every single one of you who unmuted and shared your voice with us this morning. Have an amazing day and see y'all tonight on the um, 9 o'clock opportunity call. Well, it's 9 p.m. for me, 8 p.m. for Jamaica. So 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but 8 p.m. for Jamaica. All right, bye, y'all.